Welcome back to PSC's Tech Pie. Today I'm going to talk with you about how you can use the Microsoft Graph Toolkit to create a really nice looking React applications consuming resources available through the Microsoft Graph. And specifically, in order to do that, you will simply need to create a new React application. You will have to install the NPM package of MGT React, as well as uh, the MSAL2 version of the authentication provider for MGT in order to leverage the latest capabilities uh, of MGT in the field of user authentication and permissions grant. Once you have done that, uh, you will have to register an application in Azure Active Directory and you will have to include in the application, in the React application, the login component of MGT in order to have authentication and permission grant, as well as any of the MGT React components that you want to use to render the UI and the experience of your application in React. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. So, here is the React application in action within my browser. As you can see here, I have the login control through which I can sign out because I'm already signed in or I can click on the sign-in button and go through the sign-in process. And eventually, if it will be the very first time I'm running this application, I will also have uh, to grant the permissions uh, requested by the application itself. And then I have uh, a file list uh, component of MGT to show a bunch of files uh, in my OneDrive uh, root folder. If we switch to Visual Studio Code, we can see that this React application in the package.json file is relying on the MGT React component from Microsoft as well as the MGT element and the MGT MSAL2 provider component. In the index.tsx file under the SRC folder of my application, I have a bunch of imports, for example, for providers and for MSAL2 provider, uh, both coming from the MGT uh, components. And then I define the global provider, the global authentication provider for MGT as the MSAL2 provider. I specify the client ID of an application that I have registered in Azure Active Directory and the permission scopes that I will need in my application in order to properly run my code. If I switch back to the browser and I go to Azure Active Directory, this is the application that I registered. And if you look at the authentication section, we can see that it has been configured for authentication for a single page application. And I specify the URL of my localhost environment. I don't need to specify anything about implicit flow because with MSIL2 provider, we don't necessarily need it anymore, and we use a better authentication technique. And from an API permission perspective, you can see that this application is just the user.read configure permission plus a bunch of permissions that I granted uh, through the uh, web browser while authenticating using the MGT login component. And these are the permissions that are configured right here in the scopes of my MSIL2 provider. Then in the app.tsx uh, component, I have the real logic of my application. And first of all, and again, I have some import for the providers and provider state from NGT element, as well as the file list, which is the component I'm using, and the login one to provide the login experience to my user. And both come from the NGT React uh, package. Then using React hooks, I have a definition of the logic to manage the sign-in state of the user. So we can see if the user is signed in or not, and based on that, we can enable a Boolean uh, state, which will be the is signed in state in my application. And as such, I have in the header of the application, the login component, which will always be there. And then in the body of the application, if the user is signed in, I will show the file list component, configuring that I want to see all the children items of my root folder in my OneDrive, as well as I want to see items in pages of five items, and I want to see just the uh, Word and Excel files in my UI. So, simple as that. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.